It's 5.45 p.m., which means it's time for BCTV's weekly media roundup. I'm tonight's host, Roland Boyden. The show, 5.45 Live. On deck tonight, we'll check in once more with the world news in Syria as the U.S. inches ever closer to action. Plus, we'll find out who got the nod from the Putney Select Board to undertake their municipal solar project. Uh, and plenty of area recaps and events, including the boys' football and uh, Colonel's home opener victory uh, that'll all come up in just 15 minutes here on 545 Live, so if you've got the time, stick with us. Welcome back to this September 6th, 2013 edition of 545 Live. I'm tonight's host, Roland Boyden, here for our 15-minute recap at week's end of all the web uh, interstitials we've put up online uh, over the course of the week, which include our BCTV Weekender. We'll get to that in just a moment. Our uh, interactive video calendar, Channel 10 report, summing up municipal coverage, and plenty more. You can find all those at brattleborotv.org or youtube.com slash Brattleboro TV. All right, we'll uh, launch in here first and talk world news for a moment by continuing the follow-up uh, with what's happening in Syria. This is uh, coverage you can get courtesy of the Brattleboro Reformers official website, uh, reformer.com. You don't even need the Brattleboro, um, where they continue to have, heck, let's, uh, let's put it into the split screen here for a moment, with international headlines like Obama seeks world leaders support to strike Syria. Um, uh, watching as the world decides what to do about Syria, uh, which is a live news feed of Twitter reports from uh, journalists around the country, and plenty more. Again, reformer.com uh, will keep you updated as we learn more about that situation. And while you're at reformer.com, be sure to check out their tout videos as well, which includes video last week from the Exit 1 Industrial Park, where GS Precision cut the ribbon on its new Vermont Technical College partnered school which um, the company hopes will help fill key skill positions needed to fuel the company's expansion. Now, video of the opening can be found at the Reformers channel uh, on tout.com, which is tout.com slash bratreformer. That's where reporters for Brittleboro's daily paper can now upload from the field as they report. Let's take a look. GS Precision partnered with Vermont Technical College to develop classrooms and a curriculum for their employees who wanted to advance. The new facilities include labs and machine shops, which are built especially for students and instructors. GS Precision could not do this on our own and have students uh, receive credits. That video from the reformers Howard Weistisman comes packaged with an in-depth article where you can get all the info on GS Precision, Vermont Technical College, and their partnership here in town. That's all at reformer.com. All right, uh, with that, we'll move on in the headlines here. But first, uh, a look at one of our station's newest web specials, the BCTV Weekender, released each Tuesday morning, providing a two-minute or less jam-packed video summary of all the weekend's happenings, with an addition that this week included the BHS High School Boys Football Home Opener Victory, as well as plenty of other local excitement. Let's take a look. We'll get the latest edition of the BCTV Weekender Weekending with a stop by Brattleboro Union High School. But this past Friday, the Colonel Boys delivered an opening night win to the hometown football crowd, an event that was sure to have 545 Live co-host Joe Bushy out there with a camera of his own to gather an HD highlight reel worth more than the 20 seconds allotted here. <laughs> And with that, we'll enlist the help of Google Earth to magically transport us to our next BCTV Weekend Air destination, Putney, Vermont, where we'll hop not one but two weekends back to get a little motocross footage for you as enthusiasts and competitors gathered for the latest leg of the New England-based J-Day off-road race circuit with the helmets of more than a few of that weekend's Pepsi John Rufo Memorial GP contestants were outfitted with high-res action cameras. From there, we'll head south to the Guilford Fair, where this year's tribute to area agriculture again included the OS popular horse draw, cattle shows, and sheep shearing demonstrations, adorned with plenty of homegrown produce, flowers, and local handiwork, 
and packed with a live music soundtrack. Next up, a hotly debated RFP to deliver solar-produced energy to the town of Putney for the next 10 to 25 years has landed with integrated solar. That was following a lengthy executive session at this week's special select board meeting in Putney with representatives from competing firm Sovereign Solar asking the board to keep them as a contingency plan should problems arise with integrated's financing, something Sovereign founder Peter Thorell questioned at Wednesday's meeting. My understanding from integrated is that they're, they're talking about putting it on a site that won't be available till next spring or next summer. Right. And so they're not going to start building it till then, but that might mean that they've got till then to figure out how to pull the financing together. This has been a more difficult process than we would have liked it to have been. Um, you know, we, we all feel like the proposals were both very good. The, you know, we were confident that we would have gotten an excellent product either way. Talks of municipal solar in Putney have been ongoing for some time, with Town Energy Coordinator Daniel Hovitz voicing at the board's July meeting the need to expedite the decision before federal and state tax credits expire. Now you can see that full meeting, which uh, minus the executive session, of course, comes to about 16 minutes, uh, but it has uh, all the details on it. That's at brattleborotv.org. We can find uh, every one of our uh, municipal meetings covered in not only Brattleboro, but also our seven surrounding communities, Guilford, Vernon, Dummerston, Putney, Newfane, Townsend, and Jamaica. There's also Leland and Gray School Boards, BUHS School Boards, Brattleboro Town School Boards, Development Review Board, and Planning Commission from here in Brattleboro as well. Of course, the Brattleboro Select Board, a flagship program for Channel 10 here at BCTV, and this month uh, marked the first meeting that includes ASL interpretation got to make uh, their debut uh, translating as uh, part of BCTV's live coverage, and that will continue throughout. So you'll be able to watch it live on BCTV Channel 10 and uh, later uh, on brattlebrotv.org and catch uh, all that interpretation. All right, uh, with that, we'll move on here. Uh, you can buy anything from DVDs and music to groceries and prescriptions online and healthcare soon to follow with the state of Vermont gearing up for a January 1, 2014 launch of their healthcare exchange, which will allow businesses and individuals alike to comparatively shop and purchase healthcare plans on a state-sponsored website dubbed Vermont Health Connect, an online forum that's scheduled to go up this October, allowing citizens of the Green Mountain State a few extra months to scout their options prompting a series of statewide open forums hosted by members of Vermont Health uh, Connect, aimed at uh, helping the public decipher some of the exchange's rules and regs, with local healthcare guru Richard Davis lending his expertise to the ever-vexing topic at the area's most recent forum at Brattleboro Memorial Hospital last month, uh, lending BCTV plenty of footage. We will have a member in our team who will be a navigator for this Vermont Health Connect who will be available to people in Brattleboro to do one-on-one -on -one, uh, help with enrollment, answer questions, do outreach, do public things like this. All right, a few things to wrap up here on this full-sized 15-minute weekend edition of 545 Live. We'll check in with U.S. Senator Bernie Sanders now, courtesy of his YouTube channel, uh, youtube.com slash Senator Sanders, and uh, talk a little bit about his latest video dubbed Raise the Wage. Now, Senator Sanders did state on his website, uh, partnering with this YouTube video release last week, that uh, it's his belief the overwhelming majority of Americans find the current minimum wage of $7.25 per hour obscene telling MSNBC's Ed Schultz that the minimum wage should be raised to at least $10.10 per hour. He also praised fast food workers in cities across the United States who staged one-day strikes to protest, quote, starvation wages at McDonald's, Burger King, Kentucky Fried Chicken, and other restaurant chains. Uh, this led Sanders to say, quote, we have to create millions of new jobs to help the economy, but he said, we also have to make the minimum wage a livable wage. Let's take a look at the video. All over the country, these workers, often young people, are walking out of their establishments, their fast food places, and are educating the consumers about the economic injustice taking place in these fast food uh, establishments. All right, and with that, uh, we'll take a look at some of this weekend's upcoming events. 
Now, if you want to get uh, the scoop as early as can be, check in with BCTV's official YouTube channel, youtube.com slash TV or brattlebrotv.org. First thing, Thursday morning when we post our video calendar. It's also interactive, so uh, if you're watching on the web on YouTube, you can make sure your annotations are on and go ahead and click around. Uh, follow along with the uh, ever-charming, well, that's maybe a little bit of a stretch, but uh, the calendar's host knows what he's doing, I like to think, and... Uh, He's got it posted there for you, so you can actually click on links uh, to get to the websites, to get the where's and when's on all these events. Let's take a look at uh, this weekend's. Next up, no affliction known to humankind demands a more bravery of an individual than dealing with Alzheimer's. And this weekend, the national research leading voluntary health organization, the Alzheimer's Association, will partner with the Brattleboro Retreat to bring its message of support to our community with Brattleboro's 2013 Walk to End Alzheimer's, set to kick off this Saturday morning at 9.30 a.m. with a registration on the retreat campus on Linden Street. Find out all about the 2013 Walk in Brattleboro, how to donate, find a walker to sponsor, or form your own team. You can just punch in Brattleboro's own 05301 zip code at alz.org walk, where you can also get access to online forums, support groups, groundbreaking research findings, media resources, and more. And with that, we'll move on in a jam-packed Saturday edition of our video calendar here and look at the United Way Day of Caring also this Saturday morning. In fact, all of these events take place in the morning, uh, despite how they're stacked up here. It's just that jam-packed of a Saturday. All right, so uh, we'll jump uh, ahead in the schedule here, talking about this year's Day of Caring from United Way of Wyndham County, just set to kick off with an opening breakfast at the American Legion in Brattleboro at 8 a.m. on Saturday. Uh, as the area branch of the nationwide nonprofit looks to pair local volunteers with community projects. This year's efforts projected to total more than 10 grand in labor services from 100 volunteers in 20 area communities. With that, I'll take my green screen pointing skills here to the next level by gesturing wildly to our next item uh, on this Saturday, this year's Puppets in Paradise Performance Weekend from the world-renowned Sand Glass Theater in Putney, Vermont. That does it here for another full-sized edition of 545 Live, but remember, we'll be back next Friday on BCTV Channel 8 at 5.45 p.m. for another live broadcast. Uh, in the meantime, we'll get plenty of content up uh, on our website, brattlebrotv.org and youtube.com slash brattlebrotv, where you can subscribe to us to get all the latest uh, web posts, which include headline news summaries, uh, also our BCTV Weekender with a look back at the weekend's events calendar to get you prepped for upcoming events, uh, our Channel 10 report to let you know what's going on in Brattleboro and the surrounding communities, municipal happenings, and plenty more. You can also follow us on Facebook, facebook.com uh, slash bctv.brattleboro. All right, uh, that does it. I'll quit the chit-chatting and let you get out there to enjoy this blustery weekend. Uh, but promises to be some good weather uh, about. So enjoy it. We'll see you next week here on 545 Live. Well, we'll do it just for old time's sake, just so they know how to have it done. Five, four, three, two, and the Brattle Bowl Timbers have won the second last Division II Super Bowl as they rush the field to the